Welcome to an explanation of the squeeze theorem, sometimes referred to as the sandwich theorem. The squeeze theorem states that if f of x is greater than or equal to g of x and less than or equal to h of x for all x in an open interval containing c, but possibly not at c, and the limit as x approaches c of g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of h of x, which both equal l, then it follows that the limit as x approaches c of f of x also equals L. Let's look at this graphically. Notice how this blue function is between this top function and this bottom function. So let's let f of x be equal to the middle function or the blue function, which happens to be f of x equals x times sine of one divided by x. And let's let the lower function or this red function be equal to g of x which is equal to the opposite of the absolute value of x. And finally, we'll let h of x be equal to this top function, which is equal to the absolute value of x. If we consider these functions, if we consider these functions on an open interval as we approach x equals zero, we can use the squeeze theorem to determine the limit as x approaches zero of f of x. So again, first notice that f of x is always greater than or equal to g of x, this lower function, and f of x is also less than or equal to h of x, this top function, and also the limit as x approaches zero of g of x equals zero, which we can verify graphically using g of x as we approach zero from the left and the right. Notice how we are approaching a function value of zero, and the limit as x approaches zero of h of x also equals zero. Again, as we approach x equals zero from the left and the right on h of x, we're once again approaching the same function value of zero. And therefore, it follows the limit as x approaches zero of f of x also equals zero. So to say this more formally using the squeeze theorem, we can say that since x times sine of one divided by x is greater than or equal to the opposite of the absolute value of x and less than or equal to the absolute value of x, and the limit as x approaches zero of the opposite of the absolute value of x equals zero, and the limit as x approaches zero of the absolute value of x equals zero. By the squeeze theorem, it follows that the limit as x approaches zero of x times sine one divided by x equals zero. And this theorem is helpful for proving limits as well as proving some derivative formulas, and therefore we'll see this theorem again. I hope you found this helpful.